Hey everybody. No, it's every birdie. Every birdie. <laughs> hey every birdie. It's Kim and Dan and we're here with the birds Banshee and Bee Show. And today we wanted to show you how we made our bird play tower or bird stand, bird <laughs> perch. Whatever you want to call it, it's a pretty simple perch for your birds. And we put ours so that we could put it on the floor and give our birds some more options to stand on. Because right now, they kind of just bounce back and forth between the couch and their cage. And our shoulders. And our shoulders. And we thought it'd be nice to give them some more options. Let's head over to our workshop. Bye guys! So our bird play tower is super customizable. You can adjust the height to whatever fits your space. You can change the size of your base to make it more stable for whatever size bird you have. And you can adjust the branches to whatever width that matches your bird's feet. So a bird tower for a parakeet definitely wouldn't be the same size as a bird tower for a macaw. So just make it fit for your space and your bird. Um, so we've got our vertical dowel right here. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is cut this to your desired length. Ours is already the perfect length, so we're just going to pretend to cut it. Now that our dowel is freshly cut, <laughs> you can go ahead and start marking where you want each branch to stick out. So you can mark up the dowel with pencil, but we're going to use blue painter's tape so you can see what we're doing. Just try to imagine where your bird is going to be standing on this perch. So this is how our vertical dowel is looking. Um, we sort of just space them out kind of randomly. And we tried to make sure that we left room between each branch and the one below it, just so that our birds don't hit their head or their crest. <laughs> above. So we're all done with this vertical dowel for now, so we can put this away. And we're going to take out our horizontal dowel and cut some branches. <laughs> You're way too scary, we're using a miter saw. Alright, so we finished cutting our branches. We have 14 in total. Right, we cut them down to 8 inches, 9 inches, 10 inches, and 12 inches to give our tree a nice full and natural look. So we've got the base of our bird tower. We're gonna cut ours to 24 inches long and we need two pieces that we're gonna like bond together like that to make a nice platform. Um, so we marked 24 inches. It doesn't really have to be exact because the birds aren't gonna notice. Just make it long enough so that your bird perch doesn't wobble around. Okay. So we've got our two boards cut out and we are placing them next to each other to make a wider base for our perch. We flipped our boards around so that we could find which seam fit best next to each other. Now I'm going to sand them up a bit and then we can glue them together. So we have everything we need to glue up our two panels. We've got wax paper, wood glue, and a couple clamps. Let's glue it up! Alright, so we've got our two boards clamped together in place and we're going to wait for the glue to dry. We only had one clamp big enough to hold across the entire panel, so we got two boards on the outside to help spread out the clamping force. To stop the boards from moving like this, up and down, we put a clamp on either end with a board to spread out the force. So while this is drying, we're going to go head over to our drill press and... We're going to drill holes for each branch in the vertical dowel. We only drilled halfway through. Hey guys, it's the next day, but we're still wearing the same clothes. We're a little stink here. Let's see how the glue up worked. So our base is pretty much done. Uh, we could just throw our dowel in the center and call it a day. But we're going to take it a step farther. We're going to add a small piece of scrap board in the center, and that's just going to give our tower a little bit more stability. stability. We forgot to mention we cut out a 45 degree angle to our support piece to prevent the birds from chewing on the corners. That's what we're doing here with our table saw. So we just finished our extra support piece. Now we're going to sand the base and attach this. We're almost done with this project. I say just screw it. <laughs> the countersink screws. Countersink screws! So we're going to use our drill press and our plug cutter bit 
and then we're going to make some plugs to cover the holes that we just drilled in our base. You can also just buy plugs or even use dowels. So I'm going to pop them out with a screwdriver or a chisel also works too. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and glue in these plugs and then try and hammer them down with my rubber mallet. And then anything that didn't get pounded in is going to get scraped off so that it's super flat. I love it! You can barely tell it's there. Zoom in and hence. You can still barely tell. Alright, so we have our Forstner bit put onto our drill and we've got some blue painters tape as kind of like a depth gauge so when I'm drilling I know that I'm not going to drill too far. We're almost done! All that's left is the glue up. We're going to put our vertical dowel in and then all of our branches in. Let me do my ceremonial tongue. Oh, never mind, it's dripping. We're going in. Ah. So we're gonna do the longer dowels at the bottom, kind of like a Christmas tree. Ready? Yeah. Wait, I want a bird. You can have a bird. Take Thank you, baby. baby. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Ta -da! Ta da! Here it is. This is what we came up with. I hope the birds like it. <laughs> Oh, what did that mean? There you go. Yeah, bees! Yay. Show you Benjo. Come on, Benjo. There you go, boy. Yes! <laughs> wow, I thought we were going to have to cook them with some millet. But they seem right at home. Wow, <laughs> Bijou's already got her foot up. She's, she's ready to take a nap. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, big boy? What do you think, Bijou? <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe because we have a lot more bird projects coming along our way. Our birds seem to love our play tower and we hope yours do too. If you end up feeling inspired by what we made and you want to share, we're online at It's Kim and Dan on Instagram as well as Benji and Bijou on Instagram. We've already got our first poop. Like and subscribe. Do it for the birds. Do it for them. <laughs> you would like a like and subscribe. For every subscription, he gets another millet. <laughs> okay, bye. Explain yourself, Dano. I vacuumed up the camera remote. <laughs> I see it. So there's not too much junk in it. I found it. I was wondering why you made that face. Ew, it's all dusty. That's all. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. The car, the car, the car, cockatoo. <laughs> so here's how our branch is looking. No branch. This is how our horizontal dowel is looking. Vertical. Vertical dowel is looking. So our panel is pretty much done, and we could just. It's the next day, and our. This thing. <laughs>